beautifuls and welcome to Makeup Obsessed Monday. So as promised to our BFFs, I am creating this eye look using one of the new palettes from the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. I got this bad boy in the mail yesterday and I was dying to get into it and it was like it was the worst form of torture because I had to wait. If this is your first time joining, welcome. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss a single video. And definitely turn on the notification bell because you will not be notified when we upload if you don't. All right, so who has been excited for this? I know I have. Like, the collection is amazing. There are four palettes in the collection. I will talk about the one I used on my eyes last, but I'm just gonna go through them real quick. So the first palette is Bling Boss. I am obsessed with this one. It's purples. To me, this has such a 90s vibe. You've got your mauves here. I am dying to get into this one. I think this one is going to be beautiful fall going into winter with those deep purple shades with like this bright purple right here. Oh my word. It is calling to me. That one should be called Siren instead of Gem because that one is singing my song. The next palette that she came out with is Dark Magic. And this one for winter I think is going to be so much fun. I'm so excited because there's finally a cool toned palette this is gorgeous. Look at the greens. There are three greens in here. And I know what you're thinking. Greens can be scary, but beautifuls, I'm going to show you a couple of eye looks with this palette that will make greens go from scary to your new BFF because greens look so good on the eyes. And yes, those of you that are over 50, I know I said the word, but those of you that are over 50, you can rock color. It's where you place it and how much you use. And I'm gonna show you how to do that so that you don't feel left out when you see beautiful palettes like this. I am loving this. Like this, this green right here is just stunning. So I'm excited for this one. I know you're thinking, Shannon, you're saying you're excited for all of them. I've told you, I'm an eye girl. Like this is, this is my jam. Like this is my Christmas right here. The next palette she came out with is Armed and Gorgeous. I love the names of these. I think they're so much fun. And I think out of all three palettes, or all four palettes, I'm sorry, all four palettes, this is my least favorite. Not that I don't love it, but I don't see me reaching for this one as much, only because it is a lot of yellows, like a lot of golds and yellows and oranges. And I don't know how well this is gonna look with my complexion. I haven't played with them yet. I was so good yesterday. So it'll be interesting to see how well this does. I really am excited about this white shade right here though. I think that's gonna be a great highlight shade. I've not used it yet. It's called VIP and it just looks, it looks stunning. They all look stunning. Now I can talk about this palette. This is Ring the Alarm. I put this one to the test today. First impressions, no swatches, nothing. Like seriously, I felt like I was like living on the dangerous side and just like jumped right in. I went right in with brushes and I will say this palette did not disappoint. So a little bit of backstory. Morphe was going to release these earlier in the summer and they had some production issues and some of the palettes weren't living up to their expectation and this to me shows the level of quality that they look for because instead of pushing it out and saying too bad so sad we've spent money on it they actually recalled those palettes and didn't release it and they pushed off the release date to me that makes for an a plus gold star company that is really thinking about their customers and their satisfaction they want to make sure that the product that has their name is living up to their brand. So that is one of the reasons why we really like Morphe on this channel is they just, they have that level of customer service that unfortunately a lot of companies seem to be lacking nowadays. All right, back to the palette. This palette created this eye look. I will say the shadows 
even the matte shadows like these dark ones right here I used these two dark purple they went on really really well they were pigmented and they blended so easily like I barely had to blend to get these to work well together and the only shade and I, I will say this not because it's bad it just took me by surprise that I had a little bit of issue with was the gold only because it looks so bright in the pan and when I put it on my lid it was a little bit more muted than I thought it would be but not in a bad way it just kind of took me by surprise it was like oh you're gonna play a little bit different but I love how this eye look turned out I I don't know I could wear this every day this this eye look right here is this is a life right here beautifuls I wanted it to mimic that end of summer sunset as we're going into fall most of you know fall is my favorite time so these colors are just right up my alley so all right I've talked enough I've introduced you to the new family members that have come to live with us um, I am looking forward to playing around with these more and there will be some special edition makeup obsessed Mondays dealing with the rest of these palettes because I want to get you eye looks as fast as possible now if you're like Shanna I didn't get these palettes I missed out on them Morphe will be bringing them back in stock if you go to their website morphebrushes.com you can sign up to be on their mailing list and they will email you when they are back in stock and I will put this in there that no we are not affiliated with Morphe we get no kickbacks whatsoever this is purely products that I absolutely love that I want to bring to you because I want to share with you what I'm loving all right beautifuls if you want to know how to get this eye look right here then you need to keep watching all right beautifuls we are going to jump into one of Jacqueline's palettes the first one we're using is ring the alarm this has some beautiful shades for summer going into fall there's oranges there's purples there's cranberries it is definitely my jam and I'm so looking forward to getting into this palette I am going to use my Morphe M412 and I'm going to pick up the shade Rush. This is a nice bright orange shade. It is a lot more pigmented than I would normally use for my transition, but I really want to stay in this one palette. So I'm going to pick up just a little bit and definitely make sure I am tapping off my excess. And I'm going to slowly start building up my transition area. And you can see I'm bringing it all the way into my inner corner and I'm bringing it out and I'm diffusing it as I come out. I really want this shade to be the transition for the rest of the shades that we're using in this palette. I'm so excited. All right, this is looking really good. So then the next shade I'm gonna pick up is gonna be Alert. And this is a little bit brighter orange, same brush, and I'm still concentrating in my transition. I'm just not gonna bring it up very far as I did rush. I'm concentrating this really just above my crease. So I have a nice gradient effect. It's gonna get darker as it comes down. And then I'm gonna pick up my Morphe M518, which is just a clean natural hair brush. And I'm gonna make sure these are blended out. I don't want any lines. I don't want you to be able to see where there's two shades. I just want it to be seamless. I'm gonna switch out my brush for a Morphe M411, and I'm gonna pick up the shade Mugshot. This is definitely orange, but it's leaning more brown, and I'm gonna put this right in my crease, and I'm not gonna go above or below that. I want that really right in my crease. And then I'm just gonna blend this out with the same natural hair brush I used before by Morphe. And I know what you're thinking. So far, we've only used oranges. I promise the other colors are coming. So going back to the Morphe M411, I am going to pick up the shade Siren and I'm really gonna tap this off and I'm gonna put this right in my crease where we put Mugshot. This is where we're gonna start pulling in some color. When I was looking at this, the colors reminded me of a sunset, and I think that's what I'm gonna go for, is kind of a sunset look to where you've got your oranges fading into your 
your pinky purples. I think it's gonna look so pretty for this time of year and you can wear it summer or fall, which will be nice. So I am very slowly building up this color. I don't wanna go in with a lot because it's easier to add than to remove. I'm gonna blend this shade out and I'm not blending up. If I feel like I have excess, I'm pulling it down so that I don't muddy this area up here. All right, beautifuls, still using the Morphe M411. I'm gonna pick up the shade Framed. This is a beautiful purple. I am so loving this color. I'm gonna put this all over my lid and blend it up to where we had Siren. Normally, I would use a flat shader brush for this, but I don't want it to be intensely pigmented. I want it to just kind of fade down and in, which is why I'm going more with a fluffy brush as opposed to a more tightly packed, dense brush. And again, we're gonna blend. All right, beautifuls. We're gonna leave the upper lid alone for the moment. We're gonna move to our lower lash line. I promise we're gonna go back and finish it off. That's not how we're leaving it, but wanna wait till the end before we finish that off. All right, I'm gonna pick up a Carity E23. It's a flat top brush, and I'm gonna work backwards. So I'm gonna take the shade Framed, and I'm gonna put this really tight on my lower lash line. And I'm gonna bring it just about all the way in. Making sure I connect my outer V right here so that it's seamless. And then same brush, I'm gonna dip into Siren and put this just below it. I don't wanna bring it too far down. I want it to be just below it. And then using an e.l.f. eye crease brush, I'm gonna pick up the shade Alert with a very, very little bit on it, just on the tip, and I really like tapped it off. I'm gonna start buffing out the edges of Siren and blending it out. I want it to mimic what I did on the upper eyelid, but obviously I don't wanna bring it too far down. And as you can see, I'm definitely concentrating more over here than I am in here. I want it just subtly in here. Going back to my Morphe Natural Hair Brush, I'm gonna blend these out and all together so that it's seamless. So as you can see, it comes around like this. That is what I want. All right, beautifuls. So where this is a first impression, I, I'm gonna try this and see if this works like I hope it does. It swatches beautifully. It may or may not work. If it doesn't work, then plan B will be in place. But I'm gonna pick up on camera on my finger, just a little bit on the pad of my finger, and I'm gonna press this into the middle part of my lid. And I was hoping it would really stand out and be noticeable, but it's a lot more muted than I was hoping for. So I'm gonna switch it up and pick up a Morphe MB19. It's just a teeny tiny little brush. And I'm gonna pick up on camera on that. And then using my MAC Fix Plus Gold Light, I'm gonna spray it. All right, so as you can see, I'm placing this just in the middle of my eyelid. I wanna open it up some. I really thought the shade would be brighter. In the pan, it seems to be a really bright gold, and it's not that it's bad. I just was expecting something a little bit brighter. I still like it, it's just, it threw me for a loop. I'm gonna go back in with my Morphe M411 and I'm gonna pick up Framed, and I'm just gonna tap out the edges of that gold so that it's a little bit more seamless and it looks like it blends into each other. So I'm gonna pick up a Morphe M168 and go into the shade Secret. 
I just feel like my outer lower lash line needs a little, a little something something. So I'm gonna pop this dark brown just really close to my lash line on the outer V of my eye. All right, beautifuls, I'm gonna do a liner and mascara off camera. I will be right back. All right, beautifuls. So as you can see, I did my eyeliner, my mascara, and I popped on some false lashes. The only thing I have left to do with this eye look is to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. Unfortunately, there is not a shade in this palette that I can use to do that. So I'm going to jump back over to Jaclyn's original palette. I'm gonna pick up the shade in light on a Real Techniques accent brush. I'm gonna tap off the excess and I'm gonna put a little bit to highlight my brow bone. And I'm gonna put a little bit on the inner corner of my eye. All right, beautifuls, I'm gonna finish the other eye and I will be right back. All right, beautifuls, hopefully pulling you in that close helped you be able to see a little bit better. As you can tell, we're playing with something new because we we listened to your feedback and you know some of you were like, I love watching you, but I'm a beginner and I don't know exactly where you're placing those shadows. So we're trying something new. Definitely comment below if it was more helpful for you. And comment below, do you like this palette? I love this palette. I think it's very versatile. I think there's a lot of eye looks you can get out of this. I didn't even touch some of these shades and I will go, I will come back and revisit it and do some more eye looks, some more natural ones, but I, I wanted to hit it out of the park with this first one. If we don't go big, then we go home and I'm not ready to do that, beautifuls. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed so that you don't miss the other three tutorials that I'm gonna be doing with the rest of the palettes in this vault collection because they are gonna be, if not this good, then I will say a little bit better. Like there's one in here, like I just really can't wait. I am so inspired. You're gonna love it. And make sure that that notification bell is turned on so that you're notified when we upload. All right, beautifuls. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, be beautiful because you are the only you. Bye.